Hello, are you a CPA or an affiliate marketer? Do you want to build authority, get traffic and clicks to your links in just a few minutes? Look how easy it is. Watch Brett doing this live. Brett! Hey guys, and in this video, I want to show you a new WordPress plugin that I created called Jack Jacker. Now, I admit that's kind of a funny name, and I will also admit that I named it that just to amuse myself. But this is a serious plugin and is going to be something that is really viable for anybody interested in affiliate marketing, niche marketing, or CPA marketing. What this plugin is designed to do is to solve two big problems that people have with their websites. The two problems are content and authority. Generally speaking, people don't have good quality content for their website. And even if they do have good quality content, they don't have the authority. In order to get clicks to your CPA offers or to your affiliate offers that you have on your website, you have to have authority. The user has to be able to trust you and they have to believe that what you're saying is good information. If they don't trust you and they don't believe in you, they're not going to click on your affiliate or CPA links and you're not going to get any sales. Jack Jacker is designed to solve both of those problems and also use social media to be able to get traffic to your site as well. And let me show you exactly how it works. So here I am, I'm on my WordPress testing blog, I'm logged into the admin area and the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to the pages section. Now for this example, we're going to assume that I'm in the weight loss niche. I'm not particularly in the weight loss niche, but I'm just going to use that for this example. So I'm going to type in here, how to lose weight. And then I'm going to leave the content empty. I'm not going to put any content in. I'm just going to add a page name. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to publish the page. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go over to google.com and I'm going to search for articles and websites that are related to how to lose weight. So I'll just go ahead and type in how to lose weight in here. And after doing a little bit of searching, I found this article that I really like. It's by health.com. So what I'm going to do now is go over here and I'm going to go up to my nav bar and I'm going to copy and paste the URL for this article. After I got the URL, I'm going to go and head back over to my WordPress admin area. And I'm going to click on the Jack Jacker plugin, which I've already installed, and I'll load up the plugin. All right, so the next thing I want to do now is click on Create New Jack. It's going to ask me for a couple of settings. The first thing it's going to ask me for is the WordPress page that I want to use. And I'm going to use the one that I just created, the How to Lose Wet page. If I wanted to use a different one, I could just select a different one from this drop-down. But I particularly created this page for this uh, demo, so I'm going to use that page. The next thing it's going to ask me for is a Jack title. And that is just for me, so I can remember what it's for. I'm going to just call it Brett's Test. It's going to ask me for the URL that I want to jack. I'm going to go ahead and type it in there. It's going to ask me for a bar color, and I'm going to pick blue, and it's going to ask me for bar text. Now, this is where I'm going to put in my call to action text. This is the text that I want people to click on, which will then lead over to an affiliate offer or a CPA offer or something related to how to lose weight that's going to get me a commission. I'm just going to type in uh, how to, let's do this, click here to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. And then I'm going to pick my bar text color and I'm going to choose, I'll keep it black and see how that looks. And then it's going to ask me for the link URL. And that, of course, is going to be my affiliate link or my CPA link or wherever I want people to go after they click this bar of text. So I'm just going to use Google for a demonstration. And then I'll click Save Now. And I just jacked the page. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead right here, and I'm going to click on the View. All right, so now you can see what the Jack does. So it actually loads up the health.com website with the article that I want, but it has this cool bar on the top of it that has my call to action text on it, which is also clickable and which will send people over to any URL I want. Now this bar will always stay in view, so if they try to scroll and read the article, it doesn't go away. 
Now this looks like health.com, but if you look up here, you can actually see it's my testing blog. Now there have been other plugins and other softwares like that do this before, but this one is unique in that it does not use iframes. There, this is not an iframe. I'm not just iframing at health.com's website. This is actually putting the content on your website. It's not making a copy of the content because it couldn't do that. If it was making a copy of it, it would be copyright infringement. What it's actually doing is asking health.com for the content on the fly and then simply displaying the content that health.com responds with. This means that your article is always going to be updated too because if they update their article, you will always get the latest version since it's asking for the content on the fly. This also has another really cool side effect. Since this is not an iframe, all of the meta tags are now on your website. They're related to your website. And I'm going to explain to you right now why that is really cool. All right, so here we are on Facebook. And as we said before, the second thing that people need is to be able to get traffic. I mean, that right there is going to give you the content, and that's going to give you a little bit of authority because it's showing health.com stuff. But you need to be able to get traffic to your site in the first place. And if you don't, you, there's no sense in even having that. Nobody's going to see it. Because this doesn't use an iframe, all of the meta tags and all of the graphics are now being associated with, with your website. So what that means is you can go up here and you can grab the URL for your post where you're jacking a site. I'll just grab that up here. And then I'm going to go back over to Facebook and paste it in a post. And you can see Facebook is now pulling all the graphics, all the content from my website as if it was coming from health.com. Facebook doesn't know the difference because all of that content is showing as if it was on my site. It's not an iframe. If it was an iframe, this wouldn't work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, check out these great tips on how to lose weight. And I'm going to post this only for me because I only want myself to see this. So I'll go ahead and click on the post button. And you can see now it says check out these great tips on how to lose weight. It has the health.com, all of the graphics, all of the text. It even says health.com underneath it. But watch what happens when I click on it. It's not going to health.com. It's going to my page with the jacked site on it showing my call to action bar on it and my call to action text link. Now, I made that post to my personal timeline, but I could have also posted it to related groups. I could have posted it to G+. I could have posted it to other social networks, and it would work just the same. So now, in order to get traffic to my site, all I have to do is find niche-related articles, jack them, post them to Facebook or to the other social networks, and in order to get clicks to my CPA offers, I can put this really cool banner above with my call to action text, which is clickable. This is going to give me authority, and this is going to give me content, and it's going to make it very easy for me to get traffic because all I have to do is post links to the social networks. It's actually going to be good traffic as well because it's not like spammy, like, hey, check out my offer traffic. You just do it nice and passively like I just did before saying, hey, check out this great article I found. I'm going to go ahead and just enter my title here. I'm going to enter my URL to Jack, and I'm just going to use a Wikipedia article. Select my bar color. My bar text. And my text color. And I'm going to pick white, and I'll save that. And you're going to notice something here that says, Jack page links. I have it set to no and no is the default. I'm going to go ahead and change this over to yes. I'll click on save now. And now let me view the page and see how it's different. Okay, so it doesn't look any different at all. It looks exactly the same. It's a Wikipedia article. It's got my bar and my call to action text. However, what is different now is that every single link that is on the page is now actually my affiliate link. It's my target link. So any of these links that are anywhere here on this Wikipedia page 
they're all pointing to where I want them to point to, and it will be just as if they had clicked my call to action bar. So now instead of them only going where I want them to go if they click the call to action bar, they go where I want them to go if they click any link anywhere on the page. All right, now I want to show you the other improvement that I made in the Jack Jacker Gold version. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that Jack again. And you can see a section here that says custom HTML. And what this is going to allow me to do is insert my own custom HTML into the Jacked page. Well, why would you want to do this? Well, I'm going to show you one use that I really like for the custom HTML option. Now, there have been a lot of pop-up and lead generation software products that have been released lately. In fact, I promote a, a couple of them myself. Now, even if you don't have one of the recent ones or one of the ones that I promoted, the chances are you probably have one of them somewhere on your computer. This is a really good use for the custom HTML field. So I'm actually going to go over to one of the products that I own, which is Lead Monster. And I actually use this on my own blog as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the code for the pop-up that I'm generating with this particular software. I'm going to go back over to the Jack Jacker plugin. And I'm going to paste it right inside of the custom HTML section. And I'm going to click on Save Now. Now let's view the page this time. And now you can see my pop-up is actually showing over my jacked page. So now I have a real lot of marketing going on here and a real lot of call to actions and links back to the target URL that I want. I have the pop-up that I created with the custom HTML section. And even if you don't use the particular software that I have for creating pop-ups, there are a ton of pop-up softwares out there. Like I said, the odds are you probably have one of them. And you don't actually have to just use that custom HTML section for pop-ups. You could use it for anything that you want to enter in there that you want to put over or inside of your Jack page. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you can see now all of the links because I have that Jack links option set to yes, all of the links inside of the page, every single one of these links are now pointing to my target URL. And of course, as normal, I have the call to action bar with my call to action text. So with the gold version, there are a lot more ways to get clicks from your Jack pages.